Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dev Sharma and you're watching the Anything Ultrix episodes. In today's episode, we'll be talking about the very famous Power BI Output Tool in Ultrix. We'll be talking about what is the Power BI Output Tool, why is it becoming so popular, how can we use the Power BI Output Tool in Ultrix, and then what are some of the limitations. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what is the Power BI Output Tool? The Power BI Output Tool uses REST APIs to transfer data produced during an Ultrix workflow as a published Power BI data set that sits on the service in the cloud. But why do we care about it? The Power BI Output Tool allows you to combine the power of Alteryx and Power BI, which means that you can use Alteryx's low-code to no-code platform to quickly create advanced calculations. And once you are ready to publish the data set that would be used eventually in your Power BI report, all you have to do is search for the Power BI Output Tool in your global searches or go to connectors and find your Power BI output tool, drag it to the canvas, connect it as a part of your main workflow, and boom, you should be good to go. Which reminds me that if you're trying to find the Power BI output tool in your global searches and you don't see it, don't panic. The Power BI output tool is not available by default in your Alteryx designer. You would have to go to your Alteryx community, look for the Power BI output tool, select the version that you'd want, and download the YXI file. The whole process would take you less than 15 seconds, but if you'd want detailed instructions about it, I have provided them in the video description. All right, another reason why the Power BI Output Tool is gaining a lot of popularity is because of its direct refresh capability, which means that every single time when you're gonna run your Alteryx workflow, and let me repeat this again, Every single time when you're going to run your Alteryx workflow, it's going to create or overwrite a published Power BI data set. And whatever dashboard or report that that data set is connected to would be refreshed, which means that you don't have to schedule refresh on the surface. You don't have to use DAX. You don't have to use M. And if you're a person who doesn't like DAX code or the mashup language, this tool is for you. All right, so enough of all of this talking. Let's see how we can make this Power BI Output Tool work in Alteryx Designer. Let's check it out. All right, let's find out how we can use the Power BI Output Tool in Alteryx. After your Power BI Output Tool is installed, you would be able to find it in your global searches towards the top right corner. Or you could also go to your connectors and see the Power BI Output Tool from here. For this use case, what I'm going to do is grab a text input tool and enter random values over here. So I'm going to say north, south, east, west, and these are my regions. And let's suppose I'd want sales data for each region. For north, let's suppose it's 100. For south, 200. East, 300. West, 400. Now let's suppose this is my prepared data in Alteryx, and now I'd want to publish this in Power BI as a published Power BI data set. I'm going to search for my Power BI Output Tool, click it, drag it, and drop it somewhere on the canvas. Once it's going to move close to the text input tool, you're going to see that a line gets formed. I'm going to drop it here. And you're going to see that there are two types of authentication method. There is a sign in by internet browser. And the other one is to provide authentication, which is client ID, secret ID, and tenant ID that your Azure admin would be able to provide you. The most popular method is to sign in via internet browser. So let's select this radio button and click on connect. Once we click on connect, it's going to open the Microsoft account that you'd want to connect to. This is through the OAuth authentication. So let's select the Microsoft account that you'd want to connect to. And you're going to see this green check mark over here that says that we're all connected. Once you're successfully connected, you would see all workspaces that you have access to. If you have a premium or a pro account, you would see workspaces in addition to your My Workspace. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to create a new data set in our own workspace. So let's select new data set. And in the options, let's say create. And this data set is going to be called as Power BI test data. 
and this table is going to be called as test table one. Now notice something over here. In your workflow canvas, you're gonna see that your text input has number one over here, which implies that we can select multiple tables and connect them to your Power BI output tool and multiple tables could be a part of the same published Power BI data set. For the purposes of this demo, let's just connect one table in here and let's click on the run button. As soon as we click on the run button, you're gonna see that in the messages, the plugin has been initialized and it's gonna take a few seconds for this published Power BI data set to be created on the cloud. All right, it took 14 seconds for this data set to be created. Now let's open Power BI and connect to this published Power BI data set. To connect to this published Power BI data set, I'm gonna click on Get Data, Power BI Data Sets. And now I'm gonna click on My Data. And the name of our data set is Power BI Test Data. All right, so I'm gonna click on this Power BI Test Data, click on Connect. And you're going to see that we see the same column names and values as part of our data over here. Now let's create a quick visual. Suppose I want to create a quick line chart that shows all the region and the corresponding sale value. And I'd want to create a line chart with data labels enabled. Okay, now let's make some modification to this data in our Alteryx workflow and let's see if these changes get reflected. So now what I'm going to do is go back to my Alteryx workflow and get rid of the West data row and change the value of the East region from 300 to 3000. Okay, now in this case, I'm not going to create a new Power BI data set, but now I'm going to overwrite to this data set. And let's see if these changes get reflected. So as soon as we hit the run button, you're going to see that the plugin has been initialized. And now, since our data set already existed, it took significantly less number of seconds for this workflow to execute. Let's go back to Power BI now and hit our refresh. And let's see if these changes got reflected. All right, we see our new regions now, and we see that East has 3,000 in sales, and that also changed the scale of South and North. So let's adjust these scales by going in here, and we can go to Data Labels and values and change the display units from auto to none. All right, all of this is great. What are some of the limitations that we have to consider? The very first one is when you're using the Power BI output tool, you're connecting to that data set in Power BI as a direct query. So any limitation of a direct query will apply, which means that number one, you cannot create any static or dynamic row level security. So if creating security is important for you based on a username or user principal name, you cannot do that in a published Power BI data set. The second one is you cannot use Power Queries as well, which a lot of people find very disappointing. But hey, you're using all tricks and any kind of basic data transformation, any kind of basic shaping and grouping, any kind of data cleaning, you would expect to do that all in Alteryx and then publish your data set. So you wouldn't use Power Queries anyway. The third one is data modeling limitations. You cannot create any star schema or any snowflake schema in Power BI. The fourth one is the limitation on creating calculated columns. Now you can create measures, but you cannot add a physical column in Power BI uh, using a published Power BI data set. Now there's a workaround for that. If you'd wanna add a column to your data set, you would have to go back to your Alteryx workflow and use the formula tool or any other tool in Alteryx to create that column that you're looking for. The final one is the limitation on the date time values. And this is something that Alteryx specifically calls out in their community article. You cannot publish a date time value as a column in your published Power BI data set. The workaround for that is to publish them as string values and then use them as daytime values in Power BI. All right, all of this is great. Do you not know where to begin? I did a full webinar with the Twin Cities Alteryx user group talking about how you can use Alteryx and Power BI together. 
I have the link for that webinar provided in the description below. All right, hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe my channel. I'd also be very curious to know what kind of questions you have. Make sure you post all your questions or any other recommendations in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.